Hey guys, it's Anita T here again. Today I'm here to explain to you what is histamine intolerance. Histamine intolerance is a disorder that many people haven't heard of, and many people don't even realize that they have it, even if they actually do possess the disorder. That's why I'm here, to educate you a little bit more on it. So what is this mysterious disorder called histamine intolerance? Let me explain. Histamine is a compound that's naturally occurring in the body. It's released by cells in response to injury, inflammation, or allergic reactions. However, typically, the body then degrades histamine just as quickly as it's produced. If it doesn't, and you actually have an issue, that's when an allergic reaction occurs, that's when an injury occurs, but in your daily life, we're of course not getting allergic reactions and responses all the time. So that means our histamine load is working perfectly fine, it's not overflowing, and everything's being degraded as it should be. Well, there's other ways that we get histamine as well, and unfortunately, some of us can't tolerate it so well. One of the ways that many people don't realize is that we get histamine naturally through actually very healthy foods. Things like spinach and tomatoes actually are very, very high in histamine levels which is why so many people have histamine symptoms, have these horrible symptoms, but they don't actually realize where it's coming from because they keep eating a natural diet with natural foods and yet they continue to get ill. So why is that? In a histamine intolerant person, essentially what's happening is that histamine is not being degraded as quickly as it should be. So when you eat foods which are high in histamine, or when your body produces histamine as it naturally does, or when you get it through environmental exposures, such as going into the forest with plants, or such as putting um, self-care products on you, for example, all of those can expose you to histamine. And if you don't degrade it quickly, then in your daily life, you're actually going to experience symptoms like hives, skin rashes, low mood, anxiety, digestive issues. A lot of people with histamine intolerance have IBS. There's actually a 58% crossover there. Additionally, the majority of people who have it tend to be women who are you know, in their 20s, 30s, 40s, 50s, those ages. So if you have IBS and you're a woman, then that might be already some signals of histamine intolerance as well. So then what happens from there? You get these reactions, you don't know what's going on, you try and eat a normal, healthy, natural diet and you continue to get them. Of course, you're still exposing yourself to histamine. So one of the solutions to this is to start a low histamine diet. When you start a low histamine diet, you're eliminating some of the histamine that's incoming into your body. You can think of it like a bucket. Your body has a certain size bucket for histamine and it can fill up, fill up, fill up, but eventually it'll overflow. With a normal person, we can say the bucket is this large. However, with people who are histamine intolerant, perhaps, perhaps the bucket is half that size. So that means that just half the level of histamine is going to cause that bucket to overflow. When it does, those are when the symptoms come in. And that's exactly why a low histamine diet helps to reduce those levels of histamine in that bucket so that your bucket doesn't overflow and you don't begin to experience symptoms. One of the benefits of a low histamine diet as well is that it only takes as little as one to two weeks to start seeing symptomatic improvement. So if you're unsure if you have histamine intolerance, it's a great way to begin. It's free, it's simple, it's fast, it's effective, and it can be a great test to get to know your body better. So if you want to know more about histamine intolerance and its typical symptoms, go over to factforsfitness.com and check out my comprehensive list of symptoms as well as my full low histamine foods list where I detail exactly what you should and shouldn't be eating so that you can try out the diet for yourself and you can feel the improvement for yourself. I'm really excited to help spread the word on histamine intolerance and help raise awareness. And I'm so excited to hear how the journey goes for you and to hopefully help you improve your symptoms too. Go on over now and grab that free foods list and get started on the diet today. Looking forward to supporting you on your journey.